discipline or freedom, you're saying that as though it's like, I can either have everything structured, which is kind of frustrating, or I can have freedom. But discipline creates freedom. Like, discipline is the ultimate freedom. How do you say that you would have freedom within your boundaries, um, and how have you implemented that in your life? So the best example is with 75 Hard. Um, being in a post-75 Hard environment now, I feel lost, and I'm eating things I shouldn't eat. I'm skipping workouts I shouldn't skip simply because I don't have that structure and accountability in place to know that like, oh wait, I have to do this because I have to do it. Taking that away, it's, it's almost like I didn't even go through the, I don't think I fully learned what I needed to learn through the first round of 75 Hard and that's why I'm gonna do it again next year because the whole goal is for you to come out of 75 hard in this intense structure, these two workouts a day, the sticking to a diet, your progress pick, your reading, and then for that to become just these habits that are natural to you after, they, they didn't. Like, I went right back to where, you know, I'm not doing some of those things. And so, again, that gets back to, if, you're, if you know your natural position is laziness, like, and you know that putting that type of structure in your life will force the, the right activities and the right behaviors, then you just know that you have to have that structure. And this idea of like structure and especially the word discipline has a negative connotation when it comes to, to freedom. But like structure and discipline creates freedom. And that can be very hard for a lot of people to understand. Like, okay, so you're saying I gotta put all of these rules and these processes and places in place to force me to do things, but that's gonna make me feel more free. And it does. And you'll never really you'll never really understand it until you experience it. But discipline equals freedom. Like putting in processes to keep disciplined on doing the things that you know you're supposed to do puts you in a place where there is no backing down, like there is no not doing it. Um, especially when you're being held accountable in a public way, which we were in 75 Hard, um, there was no way I was not gonna do something. But, you know, this morning when I ate something I shouldn't eat for breakfast, I did eat pop this morning. It's so funny <laughs> to say that. And I, feel and I feel terrible for it. But I did, and I would have never done that, you know, during 75 Hard. And so, for me, it's an easy solution. I just need to adopt a 75 hard type structure if it's not actual 75 hard, but it's something that I adopt and hold myself accountable to publicly, then, then that's just what I have to do.